Folks, how are you all doing? Hope you're having a fantastic day. So we're here today with the next part of our Higurashi When They Cry um, playthrough. Yeah, my hair is... I've been saying that like for like the last two weeks now. My hair, that my hair is a mess. But you know how it is currently with um, where the quarantine. Stay at home. Don't leave your house. Or most majority of the shops are closed. So, eh, what can you do? Um, yeah, just making sure that there's nothing new. Um, so yeah, let us continue with the story where we left off last time and continue from there. Oh, I hope you all have, again, I hope you all having a fantastic day. One second. There we go. And when you've got something like stuck in your throat and you're like trying to either get it out or get it in. And nothing happening, and you're like, nah, nah, nah. and like nothing's happening. That's basically what happened just then. But the source of life, water, is always the best way to get rid of it or to get it down, I guess. Yeah. Anyway, load. Making sure load. Okay, load. Okay. So he's back home. After arriving home, I quickly made preparations, so head out once again. Oh yeah, I was asked, how do I imagine um, Keiichi looks like? Honestly, I think just like a brown-haired, brown-eyed twerp. Without glasses. Basically, like your, almost like your standard protagonist. I know everyone looks like it an actual like protagonist from an anime and whatnot but I think he looks like your standard your regular standard protagonist not too nerdy not too flashy not too cool just like your you're, you're middle of the road kind of person after arriving at home I quickly made preparations to head out once again I had agreed to meet with Rena to take Colonel Rainy out of that mountain of treasure from before <laughs> Mom, do we have work gloves? I need towels too. Aren't they in the shit out, Beck? The towels are by the sink. Alright, now I was all ready. Looking at me, my mom started squ My mom stared quizzically. He's about to get that Colonel Randy. What shall we do? Well, no, that's a sailing song. Eh. If they come to dump again illegally, he'll be buried completely and it'll be impossible to dig him out. Yeah. And that happens, Rena will undoubtedly go after the Colonel Randy in front of the fried chicken. Damn. <laughs> Are you saying that she's a criminal? Excavating. <laughs> what a reason. So my classmate doesn't become a... What a reason. <laughs> Don't be out late. Mom returned to the kitchen with a puzzled expression still on her face. I mean, yeah, probably more confused than she was before. Also, my plan for today is probably like to complete chapter three, episode three, whatever it's called from like the first chapter. Um, that's my plan, I complete chapter three, do the tips I'm assuming that I'd get after chapter three. And then, or up chapter 4, and then see where we end off. Cutting through the woods as a shortcut to the dam site, I ran to someone. The photographer? The photographer. You see, this is basically how I imagine Katie to look, just without the glasses and less muscles. I'm without the camera. I'm without the hat. That's a lot, I'm without it, but you get the point, okay? It was Tomitaki-san. Also, let me just quickly make sure that we are recording. Hello. Hello. Yes, we are recording. Hi. Ugh, I actually probably should get myself a hat. <laughs> Yay. Looks a little bit better, but it looks terrible. It was Tommy Takisan, probably taking pictures of wild birds again with that precious camera of his, of course, wild birds, eh? With those muscles, he is not a photographer. He's he was probably someone that worked on the site, but nah. 
It couldn't be that all he took pictures of was handsome young men in the twilight. Mm. Who knows? Hey, a long time, we'll see. Keiichi couldn't run. How long has it been? Like four days? Four, yeah, I want to say four, three, four days now. Right? Day one, they left. Day two was well, the next school day. Day three, they came back. He found a stack of pictures. So this fourth day. My due regards. I expelled the root imagery from my head and greeted him without inciting anything. By the way, was that girl an acquaintance of yours? Why does he want to know? He was probably talking about Lorena. Guessing by the way Tomitaki-san was shaken up. What was that all about? Bruh. Come on now. C come on now. In. <laughs> come on. That was Rena without a doubt. I expect that she was grinning in anticipation of taking Colonel Rennie home. <sighs> idiots be as idiots are. But it certainly would be quite a spectacle for a girl her age to be roaming around with a hatchet. Tomi Takasan's reaction was the epitome of logical. Not really. The epitome of illogical. Just leave her be. She's just wandering around looking for more victims. Was alarmed by Makras's response. Well, it's probably hard for normal people to understand Rena. I'll just toss out a bunch of baloney. Ah, oh, great. Make it worse. If you were to be killed out here, she'd probably be the one to do it. Try not to snoop around too much around here. Yeah, he's gone. <laughs> he just dipped, just disappeared. He's like, and gone. Yeah, the, the meme. Oh, the, I'm gone. With a condescending smirk, I start. I started off. I started off. Oh, start. Okay, I he headed off. I guess started off in the direction of the dam side where Rena was waiting. Before I got too far, Tomitaki san abruptly called out to me. <sighs> Is that going to be a warning for an outsider like me? He's an outsider too. Uh, I didn't mean that seriously. I did try to make it obvious, but yeah. <laughs> I'll try my best to be careful. Watch the next time he sees Serena, he's gonna like body her, like literally slap her to the ground, like, no, you will not kill me. Probably took it literal. Leaving only those two words behind. Those two words. Those words behind. Tommy san turned around and left. I didn't really mean to call him an outsider. I wasn't really implying anything when I said that. It was only meant to be a joke, but it felt like I had said something bad. To be oblivious, a joke is insane. Insanity. Makes no sense. Why would someone joke? Bunch of scenery shots. I was It's a terrible. It's not even an accent. It's just. It's just nothing, man. I understand what Tommy Cook is talking about. Somebody got a betting around while well, waving a hitch in the round would certainly would seem dangerous. You should put a cover on the hatchet when you have it out in public. <coughs> it's not good to carry around like an in an open like that. Of course. Seems that I lost it. So there isn't one. Thinking about it, there really was no need to try to keep up the appearances. Yeah. Everyone in Hume is out already knew about Rain. Of course, it's a small village. It is a tiny little village. Everyone knows everyone as we've been quite clearly shown. 
She's probably the only person who would carry a hatch around him as well not be considered suspicious. I'd say Sadako Mori, huh? My God. Eh, well. Let's finish this today. If we bust through this last beam, we should be able to pull it out. Him out. I, I, I've been reading wrong like, all day today now. And granted, we've only been here like for 10 minutes or so, but I've been reading it all, all my life wrong. How long have we been here? Yeah, 10 minutes. And I've been reading it wrong the whole time. Damn. I've got everything I need. Where's the mouse? There's the mouse. Leave it to me. Okay. I took the hatchet from Rena and made my way up the unstable slope. Nah, I'm not even gonna Randy Kun, there you go, that's all I can say. Apparently I will save her, or he will save her, or we will save her, because we're playing Katie, so yeah, we'll save her. We'll save it. Good luck. I'll finish this in one go, because I'm so cool. He fails and it all falls on him. I thought, TWACK! I rang out here in Mizawa as if the job was being done by a lumberjack. How is it? Think you can do it? If it looks too hard, you'll have to strain yourself. That I can put. Well, actually, no, I, need, I need to put the. Uh, I, I don't have hair gel. But, like, the, 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 like the. If I can do it. If actually no, if I can break through this, then we'll be all good. I have plenty of power today. I can do it. I try to sound cool, but honestly, I'm not. It's not really working. Uh, I'm not. I'm not good at doing cool. I'm good at doing hot because I'm. You know, works natural with me, but cool, mm, not so much. Not so much. But this adverse. But this adversary was more formidable than I expected. First of all, I'd never used that hatchet. So why are you showing off then? Hmm. During a school camping trip, I, I had wanted to split the wood, but I lost it rock, paper, scissors and wasn't able to do it. It's actually quite difficult. Um, it, it, usually, uh, you need at least like three, three goes. Like the first one, get it in. And then the second one, w while it's still you know in the piece of wood, uh, you slam it on the ground. And it usually does the trick. Most of the time it doesn't. And then the third time usually does the trick as well. Um, it's not as easy as it looks, I'll say that. <laughs> it's not as easy as it looks, definitely not as easy as it looks in a movie where it's like... <laughs> it's not like that. Where it's like a where it's like a sword, where you can just like slice it through... Like through, like you're slicing like a hot knife through butter. It's not like that, alright? It's, it's significantly more tiring, which is why, you know, the machines... I hate those machines. Cause like it goes all slow, right? And then the second you cut through, like the second it actually, basically you're pushing it like super slow, right? It's like you're holding like the piece of uh, wood and you're trying to like go through the cutter. And it's like slowly, slowly advancing. And then like the second it starts actually cutting it, it's like it just it almost flies through. So like the very first time you ever you ever put like wood through like a cutting machine. It, it feels like, oh, okay, this is easy. I just hold on, la, 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 la. And then it's like, suddenly just like, whoa. <laughs> so you gotta be careful that you don't cut yourself. I wanna like get one of those machines. You know the ones that like stop automatically the second they come across like human flesh or something? I wanna come across, I wanna buy one of those machines. Just like try some videos. Try and like, okay, I put my toe in there. Let's see. Like, like, like my 10,000 subscriber special, hey guys, so I've got this cutting machine, I'm gonna put my, my tongue, mm, right next to it, and see if it stops perfectly. <laughs> like that, like that, basically. I wouldn't be stupid enough to actually put, uh, to actually try that. I wouldn't be stupid enough yet. <laughs> yet. When I'm older, and greyer, and I, I can get rid of a few limbs, then I might try it, just for the fun of it. Just to see, you know, just to, just to see. That. Then it's like, yeah, whatever. So let's try it. Anyway, during a school camping trip, I, I'd wanted to split the wood, but I lost the rock, paper, scissors and wasn't able to do it. Because the spot where I was standing was so unstable, I soon became tired and decided to take a break. So much for, it's only gonna take a few seconds.
Rena had already spread out her tarp and laid down some tea and sweets. I'm fine. Almost there. I'll make sure Rena can give Colonel Randy a good night kiss tonight. Hey. Transfer student to Yashimide in Medicine Lab. Good question. Very good question for once. For once, a very good question. While drinking tea, he's sipping on his tea. That's why you don't, you don't grab a glass, right? You, you just don't do that. You don't grab a glass that aggressively. Fuck it, fuck it, fuck it. I want to do my sipping tea meme now. Come with the frog. That's like the sipping sound I have that I envision right here. I had four should lift your all alive. Kanto. All right. Not Johto, but Kanto. Not Hoenn, but Kanto. It wasn't as rural as it is out here, but it was still out in the countryside. When did he move here? To Hinamizawa, I mean. And it is pretty far out in the boonies. Why did you move here? Does it have to do with your dad's work? Wanted to relocate a studio. See, I don't understand that. I get it. As an artist, I understand. But personally... <sighs> yeah. You know what? I, I shouldn't be saying that. Because I've been thinking where I want to move to, and I don't know whether I want a rural area or uh, an urban area. There are like three locations I could go to, and I'm not sure... Three countries I can go to, and like each country I can think of like three different places that I would want to live in. And most of them are like, they're in the city, but they're in the quiet place of the city. Basically, the, where most people are at like 40, 50, 60 years live, not so much with children or anything, but like where just like middle class, you know, that's always at work, that doesn't make any noise live. So I think I actually want a quiet neighborhood um you know that's like from like nine in the morning until like 6 p.m makes no noise um but i always go back and forth with that to be honest i always go back and forth with that because i want to live in the city primarily because like there are so many good things in you know living in a city where you know, have like the for starters fast internet. I couldn't live without fiber internet. I need at least a hundred megabytes up and a hundred megabytes down. Especially with uploading videos, it, it just gets annoying if I don't have that. Um, and I, I obviously streaming as well. I don't stream that much anymore. I used to stream a lot more. I want to get back to streaming, but I'm waiting for, on, with that for a little while now. Um, but like, I want to live in the city, but in like a quiet place of the city. Where there's like no children, no teenagers, none of that nonsense. It's only the, uh, the the elderly, the older people. So I can have my peace and quiet. That's all I have. That's all I want in life. My peace and quiet. Peace and quiet. Quiet and peace. Stillness, tranquility, and freedom. That's it. Simple, really. So I don't. I, I, but I wouldn't want to live in the mountains. Just saying. Um, maybe close to the mountains. Sure, but not in the mountains. No. He slashes the brush across the artwork and creates a beautiful chemistry. I don't know. I was trying to go somewhere with this, but I'm not an art. I'm not a poet yet. Scenery. He paints a scenery. Flowers red, tulips yellow. 
roses. I would use red. Purple. There you go. Purple rose. Oh, the symbol of hope and destiny. The symbol of ice. The symbol of the first men. But was it the last time the Andals came? Was it then that the purple rose got its meaning? I do not know. I do not know, but the paint, that the scenery was painted like a canvas on the bloody sun, that the morning rose. I'm, I don't even know what I'm saying. Right? I'm just making words that, that sound cool, that sound fancy. <laughs> Seems that twice a year he opens a gallery for the stuff he does. When he started, his works were displayed in an industry plaza in Tokyo, but now they're exhibited in the Makuhari Mesa. He's determined to have them displayed in the Waterfront International Exhibition Hall. Hey, make that money. Make that shmoney. That's amazing. Let me see them next time. I was too embarrassed to tell her that I didn't really know what kind of pictures my father painted. Probably some bloody pictures. I mean, no, the last one was like a home. But eventually I would. I picked myself up while giving some vague answers. Okay. But the trains were in the middle of a semester, didn't you? Wasn't that a hustle? Not really. I was getting bored of the city anyway. I was trying to get answers from Rena, but I ended up being the one giving out all the answers. That's how it sometimes happens. And that's why we have conversations, because you know it doesn't go the way we want it to. Otherwise, it would be a monologue. Basically, what I'm doing right now, where I'm talking to myself, and I'm like, oh, I can talk to myself forever, because quite frankly, I can hold a conversation perfectly, because quite frankly, I like talking to myself. I like the sound of my voice. I like myself. So, talking to myself, hello there. Hi, how are you doing? Oh, I'm fantastic. How are you? Oh, I'm brilliant. How are you? Oh, I'm absolutely amazing. How are you? Oh, me? Well, I'm having a magnificent day today. What about you? Oh, my day. My day is absolutely brilliant. You know what? I talked to myself yesterday as well, and you know what, what I told myself? I told myself that tomorrow would be an amazing day. Oh, really? And uh, uh, what made you think so? What, what made you think that tomorrow today would be an amazing day? Well, you see, I figured if I told myself that tomorrow, today, and a day after tomorrow is an amazing day, then every day is an amazing day. And you know what? I stuck by that, and I really, really like it. I've been happy ever since. Absolutely fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Brilliant, I tell you, brilliant. Well there, that sounds absolutely amazing. You know what? I'm gonna tell myself I'm gonna have a very productive good day today. And tomorrow. And the day after tomorrow. And every day after the day after tomorrow. Because quite frankly, I agree with what you're saying. If you think positive, then positive things are going to happen to you. And now that's called the placebo effect, my son. Learn from it. But quite frankly, you don't need to. Because I already know it. So that means I already know it. <laughs> you're so funny, me. I know I'm so funny, me. Oh, man. This is such an awesome conversation. I know. It really is. I like monologuing. Oh, I sure do. <laughs> Basically like that. I like talking to myself because, quite frankly, I'm hilarious. Yeah. I'm, I'm the kind of person that would look into a mirror and just start talking to myself. I don't. I don't. I don't. I, I, I don't. I don't. But I, I could, theoretically speaking. Technically, I am talking to a mirror because I'm talking to the camera. So, you know, the, the camera shows me a reflection of myself. So, I technically, going, if you're really going into it, I kind of am talking to myself in the mirror as a reflection. <laughs> <laughs> With a bit of a vile smile on the face, I grab the handle of the hatchet and hide the back to the worksite. Where's the mouse? Can you get the kernel? Randy out. Come on now. The air grew colder as the sun slowly set. The Higurashi began their song as if to tell him to stop in a tone for a day. Just a bit more. Today, I would end it. When I first started, I chatted with Rena as I worked, but now I didn't have the luxury. I had swung the hatchet countless times today, just like this. Contact. Shards of wood splintered. The assailant butchered the victim's body with hatchet. Hey, my goodness, you're letting that story get to you. You're letting that story get to you. The newspaper gets to you, son. 
How do you call that? Pass it from the tabloids. One hit with something like this would smash someone's head in. Axes and pickaxes are not meant to be swung at people. Ever. Yeah. That's how I'm going to be drinking from now on for the rest of my life. <laughs> ah. It's a little bit ticklish. <laughs> when you're doing without a drink, it's a little bit ticklish. With one last swing, the beam cracked apart. The weight I put behind a hatchet and only split through the beam but smashed the statue's shoulder. You fool! Oh, you fool. The arm came off with a sickening sound. She's never gonna forgive you. It clattered down noisily, stopping at my feet. What now? Uh, what now? I don't know. Use a hatchet and hit your leg, so it so it bleeds. That's gonna be your excuse. Th then she might, might ignore what you've just done to the statue. Go, go me. Ah no. No, 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 no. This, this is a facade. This right here is a facade. I probably had a really guilty look on my face. Rena said without a hint of dismay as she smiled. Okay, fair enough. Okay, cool. You will. It's yours. You will notice. Okay. She's gonna get that hatchet and smash your face in for breaking that statue. She's just pointing out the front right now. They still haven't fared one of the arms. I laughed dryly at how pathetic I was for considering the arm flipping down and rolling at my feet to be of such a bad omen. To be such a bad omen. Both Reina and Mio knew how sickening that incident was, so they pretended that they didn't know. I had looked it up all by myself, and shamefully enough, I was scared. You're pathetic, Keiji Maibara. All right, Reina. Let's do this in one go. Ready and. We did it! We did it, Cage Coon! Yay. Second. No, eBay. I shall not leave a feedback for the item. Whoa, well, we did it! We did it, Cage Coon! Yay! The right time to give three cheers. Yet a moment of two days in work, bearing fruit. He who was brought to Hidemizawa covered in filth to meet his end, instead, we were able to welcome him back. You're pretty lucky, Colonel Randy. Your new master is a pretty decent person. I don't buy that. I don't buy that. I don't buy that. It didn't matter that he was dirty. Rena nuzzled him cheerfully, but right chick. I was that type, but seeing Rena's happy face made it all worth it. I'll help you. I'll help you carry it back. It'd be bad if it gets dull. <laughs> yeah, right. Cool, yo. That's great. Okay. No. Stop it. You right there. Stop it. I know what you're thinking. Stop it. For now, I just hold back my evil cackle. We are ready to take it to the house, but we couldn't go like this. We rode the statue up in the top and lifted him. And so Jack and Jill went down the hill carrying a human sized bag and an unsieved hatchet. I prayed that we wouldn't run into Tamitake san. If he saw us here and took a picture, we'll need to get rid of him. Lol. He probably thinks uh, it's a dead body. Is that meant to be a warning for an outsider like me? Something struck me as odd about the word Tamidaki san, unable to grasp my sense of humor I had left behind. Unable to grasp my sense. I know I'm reading it right, but I'm not saying it right. That's the key difference here. I'm reading it right, but I'm not saying it right. It's a hassle, a struggle. Nice. What kind of name is Rena? What's wrong with Rena? 
got a new tip uh we won't head into that just yet let me just i want to continue a little bit i want to continue for a bit i don't want to head into the tips just yet i'll do that later Heads or tails? Jokes on you, it's a pebble. Huh. <laughs> How is it, kitchen? So you went to Renaissance house? Wasn't it amazing? It's never like that, right? Right? Unlike my house, the Ryugu residence was newly constructed and had been renovated from a pre-existing building. Well, the house itself was fine. The problem was the yard. There. Collectus. Collector, it was crumped with rows upon the rows of oddities. They were all the same as Colonel Randy stuff you'd see while walking around in town. The cake shop's mascot, Lil Licky. Lil... If, if I if I ever become a rapper, which I have no intention and no interest in being, I can't even rap yo 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 yo. But if I ever was, that would be my name. The Toadolamon in front of the farm. The the Toad. The, the Toadolamon in front of the pharmacy. She even had the amazing flying elephant from the top of the department store. Oh my, my goodness. I'll agree with you that those are cute. Why the mailbox? Would you get in trouble for that one? Basically, the standard dialogue from her. She must have thought about it because her face filled with delight. So it's the bigger the better. She's not that's big. Okay. <laughs> and the room. Ah, everything outside is the large things, everything inside is the small. Okay, that makes sense. I had a chance to see them before. <laughs> hey, we're all basement dwellers. Damn it. I'll keep anything. If she takes anything she likes back to her nest, no will will intend it. Intention is often not the, cru the crucial point of anything. Nah, hey, Rena. You know about a statue of liberty in New York, Are right? Oh, no. Yeah, yeah. Pull up with a crane. Like, doo -doo 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 -doo. <laughs> no, she wants it. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Maybe you should probably come up with some countermeasure ASAP. If not, the Statue of Liberty really will take a trip to Himizawa in the not so distant future. She needs a bit bigger house. <laughs> Just saying. I like the service tea so much. Just it's just fine. It's just fine. It sounds like funky OS. Has anyone of you played Pokemon Stadium 2? It sounds like a Pokemon Stadium 2 uh in the classroom OST. Or oh, when, when you're learning. My apologies for keeping you waiting. Rita Chan had returned. No fun being called to the staff room? Did you do something? We're all hoodlums, especially you, Satoko. <laughs> Nothing like that, Kate Kuhn. Festival committee. Festival committee. The village festival. The Watanagashi. Watana I actually said it right the first time. The Watanagashi. I said they were right the first time. Hey, I'm good. Oh, come to think of it, she did say there would be a festival at the shrine during the next. 
Watanagashi Nanaga. Oops. So what's this Watanagashi thing about at the next uh, break? Is it like a floating lantern festival? I guess the last part where you said things drift in a river or something, okay? Exactly use cotton things like gold, wide futines and potted cloaks. It's a festival expressing thanks for their years of service. I'm always down to celebrate, right? Regardless of the stupid reasons, I'm always down to celebrate. So this one would be fine, despite the stupid reason. The people living in Hinamizawa dumped their futons and padded cloaks in the stream. It sounded like it'd be a lot of trouble if it buckled, if it backed up the current. Maybe they should just drop some fish in and have a fish frying competition. I've been fishing once and it was ice fishing. There was no fishes. Perfect. <laughs> Skew them and sprinkle a little salt here, man. I could smell. Actually, I've been fishing a few times. But like the only time I can remember going there, you know, with an actual, my own fishing rod, uh, I, I was like, my friend was like, oh, man, fishing sounds fun. We should try it. I was like, uh, sure. So I bought the cheapest fishing rod I could find. We went there. Uh, ice fishing we didn't get find a single we didn't find a single fish right neither of us and it was pointless <laughs> but i've been fishing like a few times when it wasn't my own fishing when i was much younger and like i, I went camping um there'd often be like lakes and whatnot that you can fish in so that's a different story though because that, that's not really fishing by yourself you know with your own fishing rod and what it's just, it's not really the same skewer them and sprinkle a little salt in man i could smell it already fish on sticks that's just summer camp. I never anticipated how destitute Keiichi Sun's imaginary capabilities would actually be. How could you tell I was thinking something silly? Psyche. It was written all over the face. He didn't even make. He didn't even have anything on his face anymore. He wiped it all off. What sort of face could have expressed what I'd imagined just now? And the real demonstrated for me. I, I I don't know what the eyes are. That, that always hurts when I do that. I, I try to like look into like. That's not that's not her thing. It's like the. How do you describe? It's like a watery eye. I, I, I can't do that face, alright? I, I... It's not me. It's not me. I can't do a stupid face. <laughs> uh, let's try and. Let's try. So, so we gotta make the pupils bigger. I need alcohol for that. <laughs> That's the only way I can make my pupils bigger. And then. Actually, maybe like this. I can't do it with both eyes, only with one eye, damn it. I can't do her stupid face, Rena, or, or Katie's stupid face, I guess. Rena demonstrated for me. I see. No argument here. Checkmate. <laughs> it's nothing fun like that, you see. But you should still look forward to it. Hey, as I said, I'm always down for festivals, regardless of the reason. Let's all go together. I'll come get you that day. I don't really feel like going to festivals unless someone asks me to. I wouldn't get bored uh, if these guys were going. Exactly. Always down. You won't get bored. We do. What's it? What's it? What 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 is exactly is it? We're doing it again this year. Me and Proclamation came as she looked at each member in turn. Oh no. What was this all about? From the way Mio looked, it probably our eclipsed some tradition. Firefight. Explain. <laughs> Explain. That sounds awful. What kind of name is that? A 
I think it's a cute name though. A try to object sharply, but since uh, Rena looked happy about it, I decided it was pointless to fight it. Since Keiji is here this year, it becomes five demon. Rick Chan made a small correction out of my presence. So, how does this funky sounding club activity tie into the festival? <laughs> this is where you exhibit the skills you've nurtured through your daily club activities. Exactly! Let's show the full extent of the abilities that the best of the best have obtained through our daily trials and tribulations. Alright. But last year, the mayor got angry. So we need to make sure not to cause any problems this time. So basically, we were doing club activities while checking out the study. I haven't even gone into details what it was yet. The Rika Chan is the only one who explains things so it makes sense. Yeah, exactly. Nobody said anything important yet, I guess. I uh, see, so we'll be exhibiting in those busy festival grounds. Reina was right. Of course, that would be a reason for the mayor to get angry. <laughs> but it is a lot of fun. The name made no sense though. Just saying, the name makes no sense, but that's fine. That was the only point I did not doubt. It would be without question. Fun. The day of the festival was drawing near. <laughs> well, putting that aside for now. Let's start our club. club. <laughs> Let us start. Let us, let us, let us, let us, let us, let us, let us start our club activities today. Any objections? Nay. I, yay, nay. Our voices rang out in unison. She loves card games, doesn't she? So that means she loves all games, but card games, nobody can beat her. When there is lots of people, card games are really the easiest to play. This really is the most basic of table games. Alright. Mark deck again. Oh. Using a new one today. Oh my. The cards have not been dealt. Nah, there's like other things. She's probably gonna pull like a May Valentine um, from Yu Gi Oh! where it's like, I, I put a scent on each card so I know exactly which card is what. I can smell it. Exactly what I'm saying. I wonder if that's really the case. Or she's got like some special contact lenses that lets her see if she wrote with like a UV pen or something. I'll have to inspect them. She probably already thought that you would. Well, that was fair. Just to be safe, everyone check the cards. We don't know what kind of card game yet. Because if it's not the cards, it has to be something else. Are you all satisfied, or unless... And today I guess we'll play President. That's good for five people. Why are you playing me? President of the world. Another standard card game. First one to get rid of all their cards wins. Fair, 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 fair enough. The basic rules. Play a better card than the one before. You can play straights and pairs. There are various techniques that improve the game like reversal. Because it's such a well-known game, there are lots of house rules for its first, for its first, well, name for example. In my hometown, we call it Millionaires. Why are you playing me again? I wish. I'd like to go over some details. Are the jokers wild? Can you make a reversal with three threes? No jokers. Two is the highest. You can reverse a reversal. 
You can only make it reversible with four of a kind, not three, okay? I guess. Also, you know how the viewers send the code card to me? I don't I, I'm not quite sure what she's talking about. But you would lot you lot would know, wouldn't you? None of that. Okay. <laughs> We're not playing that. We're not doing that. Well, while I was confirming all the familiar rules, I looked over at me cautiously. I probably should have tried to look like, like more of an amateur. I was pretty used to this game. It's president and it's with a new deck. Today I might be able to win. No. No. Something is wrong here. They're all in on it probably except you. I hate the gist. I had the gist of the rules there. But what? that wasn't everything, was it? Now, I try to find like the loopholes here. There has to be like there, there is a, there are the reasons for everything. I think the loophole will be like something like the anonymity. Of the punishment, what's written down. But if you know the handwriting, I mean, you can kind of figure out from there, I guess. Maybe it's like something like, uh, like a punishment. Like uh, if it's a boy, that's right. I mean, that's like drawing a punishment. If it's a boy, they have to do a billion push-up. If it's a girl, do nothing. Is it something like that? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know where they're going with all this. I'm trying to figure out the loophole. Oh, that seemed like it could be interesting. <laughs> ho, ho, ho. <laughs> Alright, that nasty one. Okay, she's on the road. It would be awful if you wrote the bad one and drew it yourself. Just don't lose. Simple. Let you know best. <laughs> Mion handed out several slips of paper to everybody. Uh, I think my foot is falling. I think my foot fell asleep. Then right then, whatever, and put it in this bag. And write down whatever you put in. When you lose, stick your hand inside and pick one out. Now then, what would be a good penalty? Worst case scenario, you draw what you wrote. Something too intense would be like digging your own grave. But if it's not intense enough, then there's no point. So you gotta be confident in yourself as well. No penalty. Let's forbid that kind of idea from being written down. Rika-chan's cuddle suggestion caused Mion's hand to lurch to a sudden halt. That's so sneaky, Mion-san. She wrote, no penalty and a corner of the slip is folded. I see. Just in case you lost, just grab the note with the folded corner and you'd be safe. Exactly. Exactly. Playing the game. That was a good idea. I bought as ever. Yeah. Rika Chan is quite formidable too, being able to see through that. Yes, yeah, she's like the the unsuspecting one. Nobody thinks so oh, I need to be wary of her, but no, you need to be definitely wary of her. She knows how to put on an act. The innocent act. She's guilty. Guilty, I tell ya. Guilty. Very, wary of her. I couldn't underestimate her even though she doesn't stand out. Everyone, my lips are drying up. Don't write penalties that are too mean, okay? Nobody agreed to Rena's pop. <laughs> Who would? Everyone was ruthless. 
Yeah, it's fine, Rena. Just don't lose. It's simple. Yeah, that's true. Okay, I'll try hard so everyone has to pick the penalty I write. Rena was quite brutal even though she usually appeared meek. Better not underestimate her either. I mean, probably the person that you can underestimate the most, to be totally honest. Out of all of them, probably. I agree with that. I'm very curious what Rena's penalty is in particular. So am I. Everybody's penalties are scary. I still didn't know what Rika chan penalties would be like. Basically. You can't afford to lose this game. Everybody here. We all know it determinedly. Having confirmed that, Mion dealt out the cards. Finally. I had, de I had a decent starting hand. Card after card was played in the middle. Not needing me on to tell them, both Rika Chan and Santiko played their cards without he hesitation. This sounds like Yu-Gi-Oh! Forbi Yu -Gi -Oh Forbidden Memories. Yeah, sounds like Yu-Gi-Oh! Forbidden Memories. This game reminds of, of like Yu-Gi-Oh! Tag Teams, honestly, for like the PSP. But this OST right now sounds like Yu-Gi-Oh! Forbidden Memories. Reina and I were the only ones who paused to think. It seemed that Reina generally couldn't make up her mind, but I was different. I was like a shark stalking its prey, just waiting for the right time to strike. Huh? Will this work? Now I'll play this free and I'm out. Nine. Nobody. Eight. Seven. I'm out. Five and five. I'm out. Then I'll discard this last one and I'm out. I missed my chance. Loser of the first round was of all people me and no, she's playing all of you. She is playing all of you. She she she, she won't lose. That's the one I, I'm not sure who's gonna lose or who's gonna win. But that's the one thing I'm sure of, a hundred percent. And now I was certain. Today I could win. All she loses and I like unlike the punishment is everyone else has a punishment except you. No no then. Mi-chan, pull out one of the slips, okay? Mion accepted out of feet, scrounged around inside the bag and pulled one, uh, pulled out one piece of paper. Probably hers. Ah. Who did it? Nah, she's putting, she's putting on, she is putting on an act. I know that much, alright? I don't know how, but I know that much. Who wrote this? Mion quivered and shrieked. What is it? Huh? Rena was also surprised when she peeked at it. What kind of terrible thing was written on it? Pet the principal on the head. Well then. How is this bad? Do you not understand? You're gonna get expelled or something. Oh no, he's one of those people. Oh no. Satko yelled with a serious look on her face. But she wasn't as loud as me on shriek. No, stop doing that. What could it be? Oh. Brilliant. Throw that in there too. Throw that, he's just gonna go. Get your hands off me, filthy. And just like slap her away. Knock her out. 
He boasts about traveling around the world perfecting his skills when he was younger. So he can't be caught off guard. He switched to teaching after seeing the poor state of education in Japan after the war. For hey Amen, fair enough. He was inhuman. Pet that guy's head. There is something going on here. It's all a trick, or maybe that's like the easiest punishment out of all. I don't, I don't know. All right. As the club's president, there is no way I can set a bad example by refusing. Maybe like, maybe like the the the, the, the principal is like her father or something. I don't know. I think she might die. <laughs> She better have to yell as she dashed off down in the hallway. The guy's a martial arts master, right? The implication is probably that you can't sneak up on him. Probably. Impossible. Boy. If you look, stop. If you look, don't stop hyping him up. I could do nothing but wait with bated breath. In reality, he's probably like the nicest person ever. Now, nah, this, this is an act. A rumble shook the classroom. <laughs> the principal's special launch and move just started. Following the launch with a jab jab strong fierce combo. Jab jab power dunk. He's even using meter. Boy, we're not pl we're, we're not playing friggin' I don't know, Street Fighter. Uh, meter. Yeah, Some of the Street Fighters have a meter, I guess. We're not playing Fatal Fury here. Like a multi hit combo. <laughs> that was a poor imitation of a certain moment, but it doesn't matter. I don't want to know. I don't want to know. Nothing I could do now except stay calm. I understood now where there was no delinquents at the school. The rumors are strong, but I don't believe them for a second. After a few moments of silence, Mion slumped back to us. There is no proof. Nobody went with it, there's no proof. Mion said before no this is this is an act. This is all an act has to be. I don't believe it for a second. She's alive at least. Now we can continue the game. From Earth. I was amazed the person who matched the club activities like I was amazed the person who made club activities like this could say that. But no. The worst penalty is gone now, right? This that was probably Mion's penalty. She wrote it herself. Alright? Because it's probably not that terrible. Right? Renat's high to lighten the mood and it was only met with Mion's malicious grin. She was serious now. I'm not holding back anymore. You will all get yours. And the pace of the game be became bizarrely quick. I could tell the game had gotten more intense. Is three, four, five. I'm out. Straight away. I'm out as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm out too. I'm out. <laughs> oh. And the heavens chose to vanquish Rina. What kind of penalty I wonder? What kind of penalty I wonder? It wasn't exactly hard for her to be worried. Just thinking of the level of difficulty of me on first penalty still made me shiver. Quiver, not shiver. It's a quiver. And so the penalty she drew with trembling finger was. The heck was this? Speed.
speak like a maid. That's it. That's it. What is this? This one, what do I need to do? And thus the crow fly over the quicksand when I lose my quick hand. Sheesh. Okay, master. Sheesh. It hit me like a ton of bricks. This was meant for you. Not for them, it was meant for you. I had no idea who wrote the penalty, but she was awesome. <laughs> yes, Toby. My name is... My name is good... No. Toby. I said Toby. Except for the cars and deal. Yes, master. <laughs> ah, I could uh, just die right now. Let's continue. So, he doesn't, since he didn't know about the principle, and he... He didn't write this uh, punishment. That means that we still haven't gotten to his punishment yet. Cool. Hey, sign me up. The eagerness to which I was goading ran into addressing me as master was downright impressive, if I do say so myself. Yeah. I won't lose anymore. I'm out too. I shan't lose either. Come on now, Kechi. I'm out. Oh no. Unless he's out now. Oh, it's piling up. Then with Dota mode too. Great. The same person again. Rina. I can't believe it. Is it Rina's loss again? Rina again. What kind of penalty would it be this time? I was delighted with the many mysterious sense of anticipation. Anticipation? No, this was conviction. Conviction arc. Remove one item of clothing from the top and bottom halves of your body. Okay. Ah, ah, ah. okay. That's just indecent. I would agree. Get some help, kids. Get some help. Psychological help. Who could have written this? Are you sure it wasn't you? My face reddened in anger. If I didn't yell something out, I wouldn't be able to hide my shame. Ah, who did write that? So it wasn't him either. Interesting. Okay. What's he, what, what did he write? A noble price. And... Ick noble price. Not good, not good. What was I thinking about? What I was thinking about was written on my face. Oh, uh -oh. Go ahead. Get rid of the clues. I'm gonna back to Mion with teary eyes, but everyone knew Mion's answer. Yeah, no. Yeah, no. <laughs> hey, hey. Where are the teachers? That's all I'm asking. Where are the teachers? Where so take it like a man. Bro. <laughs> From here on out, ladies and gentlemen, this stream, well, not stream, this episode is being censored. I looked around thinking someone else would probably stop her, of course. I wasn't like, exactly trying to stop her either. Then I heard the rustling of clothes and the sound of a skirt hitting the ground sent my heart racing. These punishments are like designed specifically for her, it feels like. It's, it, it's this fine, master. I looked away like a gentleman. But these club activities, you need, you need it to be ruthless after all. Uh, no. ah, that's not too bad. <laughs> <laughs> that looks exactly like the the gym, the P clothes that you had in the last one, so that's not too bad. I thought it's gonna be much worse. Hey, Whatever way you explain. I, I ain't gonna say anything, right? Because I was expecting probably what Kate she was expecting. <laughs> 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 
That's fine. Perfectly fine. Understandable. Have a nice day. Sadako poked fun at me, but right now I can't hear it. Not too bad, Kei-chan. And this old man never even thought he would go after her like that. Mm. He didn't. Yeah, I, I don't know what his is, but I don't. But I. Mass, I didn't write this one. Her squirming around in her PE clothes made it impossible for me not to feel anything. Not to feel anything? My goodness, what are you talking about? <laughs> I'm too innocent, I'm too young for this, bro. I don't, I don't know what you're talking about. I... Me no, uh, me no uh, speak uh, English. Uh, that's uh, not, not, not my uh, thing. Uh, uh, ich spreche Deutsch, ich spreche kein Englisch. Um... English, uh, nie gehört. Uh... Me no, uh, no habla uh, uh, English. Um, uh, English, uh, no, uh, no ocho. Uh, no ear. Great. Uh, that sounds perfect. Is it ocho? ocho? No, not ocho, like eight. Each, uh, uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve, diez. Um, Otros, is that what it is? I, I don't know. Otros is other. What's ears? I feel like... It's, it's ochos, right? It's like ochos, otros, something like that. Calm down, Keichi Maibra. Mion probably wrote that one and planned to go after me as I panicked. You can't fall for a trap after knowing it's a trap. Clear your head. Calm down and assess the situation. I was determined to think my way out of this, and the answer was quite simple. I win. All you gotta do is pull the hearts of the cards. I then became girl. Sure, mate. I, who had already entered the domain of girlhood, who what would dare stand in my way? It was like they were pulled to me magnetically. I was picking up aces and twos like nobody's business. Eek. <laughs> How could my look of the draw be so bad? You don't have the heart of the cards by your side. You're not Yugi. You don't have a pure heart. Sadako lost, right? I'll draw the penalty. Speak like a little sister. Is that it? <laughs> These punishments are... Some of them are... Are like decent punishments and some of them are just... Not that tragic, alright? Nature. Yes! The pleasure of making this brat disgrace herself. It said little sister, so I'm assuming he wrote that, because otherwise it would say, like, speak like a little brother or something, or speak like a little uh, family member, something like that. Seven. <coughs> this old man loses again. <coughs> Mion's lost, right? <coughs> I'll draw it out. Also, yeah, no, he's just on a roll, he's just winning. <coughs> Wear a girl's school swimsuit. That's fine for her, but if you would have drawn that, you would have been in trouble. No. No. Yeah. That's the one I wanted Kei-chan to get. Yes! Mio's despair was like sweet, sweet honey. Oh, he's just winning. There's gotta be a catch or something. I lost the game. Rena lost? I'll draw it for you. Let the person in first place rest their head on your lay. You're in first place. Huh? Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. She's not wearing a skirt, so it's a bare legs. Eek! Too good. One, one principle. Two, the clothing. Three, master, servant, maid, whatever. Four, sister. 
and five so okay good so that all all the punishments are gone i thought like maybe one would be like the person who hasn't gotten punished at this point will get will have all of the other punishments hit him somewhere like that. Sat oh no we're just rotating now are we Satko lost again i'll draw it really there's more punishments how many did you lot right i thought just five you're five people but no there are more obey the person first place how about have you give me a soda massage yeah no there's gonna be one that's like any punishment that went to anyone else is now on you the person first is gonna be the biggest loser something like that which is why I like Mion lost on the first one so she would not be in first or something, I don't know. Don't use your nails. I'm not going to imitate that laugh. <laughs> I transformed an evil dictator and couldn't be doing any better. It felt like I could control how the cards played out with my mind and even decide what suits would appear just by willing it. By the time I realised it, I had already assembled a harem. I was laughing heartily as I rested my head on her and I was now a, a bloomer-clad maid. Damn. Sergei was wearing a collar and I had taken on little sister properties. Mion was fanning me while wearing a school swimsuit. Today is Master's overwhelming victory, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I began to think, why does man have no end to his desires? How could I wish for more than this palace of dreams? What is it? Keiichi. <laughs> now he's become philosophical. He's reached the pinnacle of his happiness and of life. That was it. Rika-chan hadn't been in first, but she continued to escape being in last. Uh... Yeah. Quite greedy. It said you should know when enough is enough. I know that very well. But I have to say, he wants to get you. I wouldn't mind if I'm all right now. Ick. Okay there. Okay there, Katie. Okay. You say you wouldn't mind that you might wouldn't mind dying. And then that can be arranged. Rika fans in a usual car manner with a cheery tone. Then that can be arranged. This was undoubtedly a declaration of war. Go Rika chan, go take him out. A collar. The feet of the Zarge Devil of Perversion. I might not be able to win, but I'll beat him. Nani? Such stoicism from this little girl who's always hidden away inside Akira's shadow. The, the true dangerous one, as I said before. It will probably be your route not to meet her head on. I shall face you myself, little one. Your heart of the cards is about to die. I saw Mion swap a few cards of Rika-chan in the middle of the game, but pretended I didn't see it. Oh no. Do you believe you can defeat Keiichi Sama with just that? Two. Reverse. Everybody looked over at me. I was still brimming with confidence. <laughs> the four of them have allied against me, and that's it. You're making me laugh. Oh no, he's definitely letting all this get to his head. That was good. But here's my trap card. You activated my trap card. Reversal, reversal. Whoa. How could such a thing be? Sadko let out a shriek. Mwahaha, <laughs> you simpletons. Using all of your cards before calling the reversal left Rika Chan with no good cards. No, you gotta fear Mion. Always fear Mion. 
That's your mistake. You're focusing too much on Rika-chan right now, but not Mion. She was defeated soon after. It's like she said, she might not win, but she will beat you. I lost. <laughs> Finally, you fall into my clutches. Now I'll pick one out. Where cut is a bell collar and a tail. Oh no. Oh no. All that bravado and that hype talk. For nothing. You lost Rika. Rika Chan hung her head and equipped the three holy artifacts. It's questionable as to why such things were in Mion's locker, but since I had no objections, I didn't ask. So it's, I, I don't know where the setup is. I, I, I don't know what the pla what, what, what the setup here is. There's got to be a trick some here or something. This is... Mion must have done something. Oh, this was so ha unless it's all, unless it's like all a dream or something. It felt like I had become Rena. This was definitely kawaii. Can't do it. I can't do it. All right. That was my best attempt at like doing like a. Uh, 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 flash backwards. What, what do you call it? Like like a. What do you call it? Uh. I mean, not a flash forward, but a flash backwards. Go, going back in time, basically. That was my attempt. Like. It just didn't work. It just didn't work. It, unless, unless I like add sound effects, it won't work. So I'm, and I'm not gonna do that because I'm a lazy son of a noob. But yeah. Kawaii, isn't it? Isn't it? <laughs> oh no, it's begun. That wasn't me talking. That was actual Rena. Me. Me. As Rika Chan mimicked the cat, teary eyed rings of smoke escape from Rena's ears with an order. Puff. One of these days, she will. <laughs> she will. No comment. I still have one trick left. Mion gasped and dropped her fist into her open palm. If Rena must, she can take me home. No. After Rena Sun beats Keiichi Chan, oh, now she's gonna play serious. And they thought that Lorena in cute mode would be able to defeat me. Would it be that easy? Opposing me was the same as opposing God. I'll teach them their place. This guy's. He went on an ego trip. As <laughs> a straight as ego was like down here, now it's up there. <laughs> How preposterous! No, not Rena. Can't defeat me. Yep. He lost. For a moment, I didn't know what was going on. The 52 cards danced and flowed freely between Rena's hands like the machinations of the master magician. Here we go. You've lost. Cute mode is the most dangerous mode. In the middle of those flowing cars was Rena's ecstatic expression, her head bobbing around. My whole body knew it already. I was going to lose, yeah. Yeah, I could tell you that from a million miles away. Just hope the punishment is not all too bad. That's all I can say. <laughs> No play. Nothing to play, Kei-chan. Then with this, I'm out. Everyone cheered. I was spent. <laughs> I got no regrets. God, thank you for letting me dream a little. I'll take one out. What's his punishment gonna be? Cake from the 
What is it? Everybody peeked at it in unison, gazes flicked between the text and my face. No, it's gonna be the worst one. It's gonna be the worst one, we all know it, but what is it? That smug face. All. All the previous punishments. I knew it had to be one like that. Oh, and it had to be right there. Every penalty up until now. GG's. No re. <laughs> GG's. No re. That's all I can say, my friend. You lost. You tried, but you lost. Keiji san, she did not be speaking like a little brother. This is quite addicting. Next, I'll have you rub my shoulders. Seventh. Yes, I'm a lady. Oh, no, now she wants to take you home. Gonna be. Oh, no, you're gonna be hearing this all day from her now. A fate worse than death. <laughs> Rena passed out with a squeal, blood spraying from her nose like a fountain. <laughs> Arena, 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 arena. My dignity was being trampled more than a communal doormat. <laughs> I'm not metaphor. Next is from this old man. Fush, fush. Oh, I almost forgot. Damn it. <laughs> Damn, you need to wear this, don't you? No. 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 <laughs> well, it's not that. It's not that bad. Wear a school uniform and then take the one that's like take one clothing off. There you go. Going so well. Going commando. No. Satakir was like a lone shark. Actually, me trying to escape reality as fast as humanly possible was pretty adorable if I do say so myself. But whose school swimsuit am I going to wear? If I were wearing one of yours, you wouldn't like it, right? The ultimate smug face, both of them, the ultimate smug lords. As a little benefit. I'm not that in shape, so I think even kids and can fit into it. The executioners surrounded me, wagging their fingers. Metronome. No. <laughs> no. My first thought, it's tight around the waist. Second thought, the chest area was pretty loose. Third thought, the crutch area was... He, he, he's, a, he's a shy one. That's why he's, he's like... 
That's why. That's all it is. Yep, 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 yep. Everything. My goodness. <laughs> My goodness. The stern scientific calculating nature mixed in with a fascination made me on very scary. There is no decline. Your ensemble is color complete. If only we could send you home dressed like this. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Then is this enough? I'll change and. While I was saying that, Mion placed her hands on my shoulder and Rika chan slipped up behind me without a sound. Not yet, Keiji. Have fun. <laughs> yeah, have fun. Maybe I'll take it easy on you in, the, in, the, in that get up. Rika chan patted my head without saying a word. Sir, excuse me. Mm. Screwed. Come in. I stepped forward into the principal office with my bell collar jiggled, jingled adorably. The principal froze solid with a smile on his face as he saw me. I couldn't blame him. In his sacred place of study, specifically in his office. Though I said excuse me as I entered the sight of a person entering with a school swimsuit, cut ears, a collar and a tail. And for it to be a young male student, without a doubt, any normal person's psyche would have stopped code. But this could be explained. We'll call it Uncali Valley. <laughs> Bro. Bro, really? Was it Uncali Valley a thing? Because this is set in like 1970 something. Was that a thing back then? I don't know. Obviously, this didn't come out in 1970 something, but it was set in 19, so I don't know whether that's a thing. Camouflage, if you will. When humans see others, they can only begin to act after confirming, this is human. Meaning, if he could not comprehend what was in front of him, then in those moments before he could begin to fully process the situation, his mind was completely blank. That was my one and only chance for victory. My penalty, rubbing the principal's head. A shashing sound echoed loudly. He went straight for the special move. The principal said one thing to me. What does it mean to be man? And in a heartbeat. Rest in peace. <laughs> Rest in peace. Or in this case, pieces, limbs, that tremor resounded throughout the Hinomizawa twilight. He's dead. He actually died. He actually died. Well, I will say... I don't actually know whether we completed the chapter or not, but I'm gonna take a break here because I need myself. I need to get myself some drinks, not drinks plural. Drink, drink singular. So, I'll be saving it here. Say, okay, um, and I'll be back. Well, for you lot in the next video. So I'll be seeing you all in the next video, everyone. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up. I don't know why you would. I don't know why you're even watching this. Uh, but regardless, do it. Because I asked you to. Hey, let's go. Anyway, I'll see you in the next one, everyone. Until then, have a nice day. Peace out and bye. Hey, everybody. If you like this video, please be sure to rate, comment, favorite, and subscribe. And if you want to see more of these kind of videos, be sure to check out Patreon to get one week early access as well as full length. Until next time, everybody, peace out and have a nice day.